so today I'll just go over what I did at the barn this week. So first of all, um, I basically skipped um, last week. I didn't go to uh, visit my horse actually at all um, in the last week. Um, just because with the whole drama going on, I just wanted to let the dust a bit settle for a little bit just because it was getting pretty intense and um, I think it was just um, causing more harm than anything. Uh, my horse is actually okay um, health wise with the exception of her feet which I was pretty um, disappointed. Um, I have basically found out that she had a lot of little cracks and basically in the back of her heels um, there's a huge chunk of the like hoof wall missing. Um, that could be caused by rocks or whatever in her paddock, but also there's a huge neglect in the, the foot or the hoof care um, that happened basically during COVID. So it's been, um, well, two months before that for COVID. I haven't seen my horse and therefore two months that nobody, uh, I don't know, guess or judge that it would be appropriate to just, you know, clean my horse's hoof once in a while. Um, she does have shoes and it tends to kind of keep the dirt in there. So now she is having, I'm pretty sure she has uh, thrush in all four um, of her hoof and before she had mild thrush in one of them um, and, and, and now it's just basically it's complete like goop in there, it's basically pretty bad. Um, the other ones are pretty mild, they're just starting but yeah I'll have to order uh, products to just kill this, the, the thrush that's in there and make sure I can give her uh, proper care. Um, also, it's also really, really hard for me to, to give care to my horse just because with the disagreement that I have with the barn uh, manager there, um, it's basically making it really impossible. It's really, really hard for me to either bring professional on site um, just to take care of my horse. Would it be a vet? Would it be a Cairo? Everything that takes an appointment just is a huge ordeal. So um, that's why it's pretty hard for me right now to just even be an owner right now. So. Um, what I intend to do is basically just put it in action um, as soon as we move to the new barn. So she's going to have her vet appointment already scheduled to just complete the examination that I had for her, like a flexion test, um, a couple more shots, and her dentals are going to be done probably in the first week that she moves in. Um, she's going to have also the appointment with a farrier coming in. Um, as soon as she gets there, I'm actually trying to get or schedule a, a ferry appointment right now at the current barn, but it's not guaranteed that it's going to work. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to get somebody as soon as possible just because the, the state of her feet right now is just really, really bad. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, other thing is this week we had to go over with the bath again um, just because um, the current barn, uh, they basically don't want to put the fly veil or the fly sheet that she is supposed to wear um, that I have provided them already with. They just apparently judge that it's not necessary and therefore my horse is basically sunburned um, on her back and she's also very very filthy. So this week I didn't do really much with her. I just um, kind of lunged her a bit just to change her mindset a little bit. So you'll see a bit of lunging and then um, I basically um, removed her braids. Um, pull her tail bag off just because um, this current burn is definitely not taking care of um, Hazel the way I want to and therefore my horse is like basically whipping her tail all day and that's causing her to um, lose hair at this point um, like her tail basically is getting thinner just because it's getting creating a whole mat um, with the whole motion of the tail like wishing all day um, so I just removed it just for safety. I think it's just at this point it's just not even fa uh, safe for her. Um, usually she has the fly sheet which you know makes her look like, a little bit more content with the flies and she doesn't have to like you know move her tail that much and then therefore she can keep a tail bag but right now it's getting pretty dangerous and um, it's thinning out her tail as well. So we just removed that. We got rid of the braids. Same reason. Um, it's just uh, there's just not a lot of care provided here. So yeah the, the fly sheet also help with the maintaining the braids um, healthy and happy in there so there's not a lot of dirt and grime so um, I had to pull them out for that reason too is that it was getting like crazy and a lot of hair was falling off um, and that's just in like two weeks which is kind of really bad so I pulled those out as well and I gave her another bath just because the level of filth is definitely beyond this world um, she has um, she had so much dirt like especially in her hoof I couldn't even get them off with um, our regular 
hoof pick so I had to like basically um, try my hardest to get in there and try to clean the hoof um, she also needs a little trim in the inside for her frog as well I, f I find it's a bit overgrown um, which is not really normal for her like she doesn't usually like grow um, a lot of like frog if you will um, so yeah she'll definitely need a farrier as soon as possible um, and also like I said I just discovered this like huge case of thrush in the back um, by just trying to clean it I also took the time to basically shower her completely this time and I just dedicated most of my time to that um, so I gave her a good scrub um, it's gonna be probably her last bath in a like in kind of a while um, I'm not intending to give her another bath even if she gets really filthy we'll just try to brush it off just because I don't want to dry her skin either um, she's already sun bleached on the top and I don't think it's really recommended to start giving a regular bath um, after that so um, yeah and then um, and then I ended I think the session with just like a nice like cooling down and grazing um, that's not gonna be on camera just because I didn't have enough room on my camera to get all of this for you so basically you'll see everything up to the bath and then I did the bath and then dry her off um, and then I put her back in her paddock and I put made sure to put the fly veil and the fly sheet on so like that she doesn't get bothered um, by the flies um, so that's pretty much her last session and basically her last few bits I just cannot wait guys to just move her um, just because at this point I've kind of lost like all um, confidence in this barn and in their level of care for my horse so um, it's getting yeah really it, it creates a lot of anxiety and I just can't wait to move her to the next barn hopefully everything goes well there um, so far the uh, owner of the new well the, new, the upcoming barn is basically um, really easy to get along and I can ask pretty much whatever question I want um, and she's always really responsive really seem really polite um, so I don't have any issues uh, with her there um, I have got Hazel Hazel got her shot like some set of shots um, last week and she we actually well I managed to basically get the trailer um, deal on so she has a trailer we're already basically we're just waiting for July 1st and she will be moved to the new barn so I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video. It's basically going to be the vlog, so you're going to see what I did. And I'll see you uh, next time.